All right, how's it going, everybody? So this is not a uh, a video to try to bash the police. In fact, uh, for the police officers that are doing the right thing, my uh, much respect to you, okay? It's not to do that, and it, this video is not to try to minimize uh, any type of uh, traumatic, anything traumatic, uh, of a person with mental health. All right. So this is not to do that. This is video is to, to bring up the, pro, uh, bring up their problem, identify what may be the problem, analyze it, and then maybe try to give you a conclusion. Okay. And I will be getting back with you again on this matter. I heard about this matter. I don't know. Sometime yesterday, maybe in the top of the day, Hope everybody's having a uh, good Sabbath day as well, too. All right. Today is the 18th of March. So let's talk about this dude, Ervil Otieno. Okay. So my understanding, either himself or his parents, to say the least, are immigrants of another country. Okay. That last name is Latin of some, uh, some sort. Okay. Uh, some, anyway, this young man. This happened out there in Henry Cole County. That's rich, basically Richmond, Virginia. Shout out to all my family and friends out there in Virginia. That's like an hour of where I'm from, like Hampton, Norfolk. Okay. According to those to, to the news, this happened this week. Or this, I don't know, a few days ago or this past week, something like that. Early in the week. That the police, Richmond police, got a call about some type of burglary in this man's neighborhood. Okay, and this man was identified, and like uh, it was reports of uh, the police trying to restrain this man, and he made uh, allegations of Mr. Otieno assaulting the police. He may have been identified of as having a mental problem. Okay. So I don't know if what his background, his records pulled up or what, but he was brought to a mental hospital. Okay. And there was like seven or eight people involved. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if it's more. Couldn't get revi uh, restrained in the mental health uh, facility then was brought to jail because this guy was charged for assault of some police officers and or uh, what is that the healthcare workers in that facility brought to the jail, which would probably traumatize him more. Okay. Assaulted police officers more at the jail and the guy ended up dying in jail. Okay. So there's a lot of arguments to saying that he's got, uh, he was killed in jail. The cause of death was asphyxiation. Uh, I'm just letting you know what I believe. I believe that they killed that man in jail. Okay, the police killed that man in jail. There may have been uh, the, some healthcare workers involved. Okay, that worked at the jail, but that's what it sounded like to me. Why? You could tell this happened uh, with a case, and I think I did a, a video about that when I started doing these videos back in what late 2020 about a, a guy that happened to a guy that played for the St. Louis, uh, the saints, a very similar incident. Another, I believe that Sandra Bland was done like that. And also Aaron Hernandez. Okay. Was done in a, a similar way, but he didn't assault any police officers. Okay. They didn't do, but the style in which it happened. Okay. In which their fate, that's what it tells me. Okay. I mean, you could just tell by looking at these past, incidents yes okay i believe he was he was killed in jail though you know it's very unfortunate that this man was treated like that i believe you know the way he was treated was brutal okay but i gotta tell you okay from being suffering from ptsd myself my, my brother my brother's committed okay uh through the state hospital all right i've i've known several people that's spoke to several veterans or whatever that's been through either they are going through either worse or 
some are better okay but i know one thing that all people the people that i know okay as as far as the veterans of my family certain people particularly veterans we all got it okay so i've had it for like 15 years i mean it's one of the things where i don't know but for many people people with mental health issue uh that, that, that there's a very rare case of people actually freaking out. But based on variables, they could look at age, they could look at, I don't know, like if you have education, you got a family, you have things to look forward for or working for, okay? Uh, it's thought that you probably have better discernment, okay? And some of the actions that you do. So maybe I can see the first time it, it might have been an understanding during that burglary. He was brought to the hospital. Okay, but I gotta tell you, okay, if you you cannot, even if you have maybe some type of uh, I don't know, mental disorders, you cannot assault the police. But I would think at the same time, between what happened at, at, at that house and the hospital they would have found a way to revive him okay with some you know some type of uh sedative me measures and put him on some type of like watch or whatever okay until they decide if he needed to be mentally committed or go go to jail okay but it sounds like he needed to be mentally committed that's what it sounded like to me particularly if it was his first time offense all right but let's say if he was mentally committed, then he should have remained in that program or at least shadow. You know what I'm saying? Somebody should have been checking on him. Okay. Why did he had to be brought to jail from that mental facility? I'm just thinking there could have been a way again. He could have been sedated in a way and kept him, keep him calm and have him on cyber, either suicide or or some type of watch by the police or by the police. There is a way that they, they could could have handled that without taking this man to jail. And again, just taking the man to jail even made things even worse. You know, it traumatized him even worse on top of that. Okay, but I gotta tell you, if there's anybody that have mental issues or know somebody, okay, that you have you do have enough discernment not to assault the police and it did it, it did happen repeated time uh repeatedly this guy's a big burly guy i've seen him stand by his parents taking pictures or whatever he's a pretty good sized dude okay so you know i don't know but they should not have taken like seven people to take this man down they treated him like some type of great rhino or like an elephant or something you know what i'm saying but it's a double-edged double -edged, edged sword. The police, they may not know if you have a mental issue. And they're going to probably do their job, all right, and, 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 and unless they're going to probably get a chance to assess the this problem, okay? But, again, I just think that probably these mental health, okay, that deals with uh, people... Uh, in that predicament, okay, let's say if they've been brought over from the police, I think there needs to be a better way, once again, to, I don't know, to calm or relax these guys until they can make an assessment if they want to keep him, number one, that individual in committed or bring him to, uh, bring him to jail, okay? I will be getting back with you on this, on this subject because, it is a, a trending and it is a very serious matter. If you need help know, or know somebody that need help, you better ask. Okay, you better get yourself uh, some help. All right, or talk to somebody or, or some type of professional or something like that. Okay, uh, that's the best I can tell you. But rest in peace to Mr. Uh, uh, Atenio. I'll be, be getting back with you on this matter soon. I hope you all have a great day.